Welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We're now talking about an up, well, not an upcoming photo ex exhibit, a current photo exhibit that's actually set to close this Friday. We're back with Jack Dio. So people, the, they're running out of chances to go see oh, it. What's this it is amazing. About? This took months in the planning. Um, it's been up for almost a year, but it's going to go down Friday. It's called uh, Exposing Photography, but it's probably the biggest collection of antique photography equipment uh, that you'll ever see in the UP. You probably have to go to Rochester to the Kodak Museum because my collection, Don Balmer, who's a local collector and uh, teacher that was in Marquette, really into photography, and then the History Center's collection okay. of equipment. But on the walls is the complete story of all the early photographers of Marquette, women, even, you know, the George Shiras everybody knows about, but they discovered more photographers inspired by Shiras when they hear on Mountain Club. The story is unbelievable. Hmm. And if you don't, you know, you got till Friday. Till Friday. It, it's only $10 to get in there, but you can also go into the main exhibit room. If you've never been to the History Center, you get to see the other part too. But yeah. this photography exhibit is unbelievable. And we've discovered things that we never even knew about because I've been studying these photographers for 45 years. Yeah. All of a sudden, we're finding pictures of them we never knew and how does that um, happen how do you all of a sudden discover something does somebody well, clean out can their you imagine and 110 years the history center has been there and they've had velvet albums photo albums that they never pulled out every photo mm. until we you know so we always thought we had two shots of bf childs he was the famous up photographer probably the greatest in lake superior and now we've discovered more. And I, I brought a few of those to show you, too, yeah, in the let's, exhibit. Yeah, let's put some, let's, uh, we have the pictures that you sent in. Yeah, so that's it, the exhibit itself. That's the exhibit. Uh, on that wall is all the studios that were in Marquette County. There's an example of each one. We have uh, a head clamp stand for people that wiggled and baby posing <laughs> chairs. Uh, but, the, but the equipment, you know, what they had at the museum was unbelievable. Uh, the best of my equipment and the best of Don Balmer's is on display. But... Um, it's, it's quite amazing. And, and the shot that you're going to see at the end here I'm going to talk about because it shows one of the newly discovered photos of B.F. Childs on the left, Christian Brubaker in the middle, and that's Mrs. Childs on the right. And their pup. What's that? And their pup. The and, and the dog, yeah. <laughs> now, you know, I've been looking for photos of Childs, and here we discovered them during this exhibit. Uh, Childs came here in uh, 1868. Brubaker wow. was a daguerreotypist in Houghton in the 1850s. But what happened is we discovered that all these photographers, there was five stereo photographers in Marquette, Emery, Brubaker, Whitesides, Brubaker, or, and Childs and Cole. And there's a woman doing a book about the, them right now. She wrote a grant to the Library of Congress. She loves Marquette photographers. And she came and saw my collection, so we're going to put this book together. But uh, these guys all worked together. Some retired together. Some became pharmacists mm. because they knew chemicals. Sure. You had to sensitize your negatives. These are stereo wet plate photographers from the 1860s, and we're working on a book. And it all kind of got inspired by this, what we found and what we learned. And she's an archivist. She was an, a National Park archivist uh, for the National Parks. And she's retired now and decided to finally do a book on B.F. Childs. And, I mean, that's my guy. You yeah. Know? So this is going to be amazing. It'll probably be out in about another year or so. Okay. But she went to the Library of Congress and found all this info about these five Marquette photographers that were world-renowned, you know, as far as yeah. uh, what they did. Their, their photos of uh, the UP were shipped all over the country, hmm. the mines, the Native Americans, but all in 3D. Yeah. They're stereo cards. Yeah. And so it's pretty amazing what we discovered because of this show. But get there before Friday. I mean, you'll never see anything like this again. I know it's been up for a year, but I thought one more push. Uh, yeah, would ten dollars gets you in the door, and you yeah. can see the other exhibits too. What do you yeah. hope uh, people take away from this exhibit? Well, it's just amazing. I mean, Marquette is is world. I mean, the the history here is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. We keep finding more stories. I mean, how many years have we been finding stories, and we're still discovering amazing things about it. So you'll just appreciate, especially the George Shira story. I mean, the first wildlife photographer in the world. Mm -hmm. Then we discovered two guys from the Hero Mountain Club that were inspired by him. That wrote books, published books on photography. We never knew about it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of new things to learn about uh, Marquette County history. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an amazing show. And like I said, you get the Wednesdays are open till late, too, okay. by the way. Okay, so you got till 8 o'clock on Wednesday, but then it all goes down on Friday. On, on Friday. Okay, so last chance to see that photography exhibit. Again, we'll put the information on our website for that. Stick around. We're not done with you. We have lots more okay. to talk about. We'll be right back.